Hi Gemini, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you for coming back and welcome, welcome if you're new. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need is there. Uh, personal reading information, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information there how to understand and interpret the reading if you're new to tarot. So please do go check all that out. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. It's a fairly, a fairly new channel. It's about eight months in. It's still relatively kind of small, so any support you would like to give the channel, as in subscribing, likes, comments, sharing, would be greatly appreciated so we can grow this into something big, bright, and beautiful and get the messages out to those who need to hear them, as videos only get circulated if they have enough views and likes. So please do support the channel. If you connect with my energy and like what I do, it is greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Let's get into it now for Gemini. This is a general reading. So if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, you're more than welcome to do that. But I will be reading it as a general reading. If you could fit it into a relationship uh, situation or anything like that, please feel free to do so. All right, Gemini, Gemini. First half of September already. Where's time going? Almost coming into fall. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so whatever we get here, if you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. Um, sort of like a little extra bonus. So what do we have for Gemini? Oh, that's too many. Just want one for Gemini. First half of September Spirit, please. Thank you. Wow, did you see that fly up in the air? What do we have? Water. So you could be dealing with a water sign in some way, shape, or form around you, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If not, this is just the energy of water. And that is the energy of kind of going with the flow, being very fluid. Um, it's a very healing energy. Um, it's about love and emotions and feelings. Um, and that's a very compassionate energy, caring and giving kind of energy. Um, very intuitive energy also. So, and I believe it's a feminine energy, but it doesn't have to be. And you have six, 40, 24 is six, which six is a very healing, balancing number. So what is very healing, balanced, compassion, love, emotion, feelings? So I don't know, we'll see how that play, being very fluid, just kind of going with the flow uh, kind of energy. All right, nurturing also kind of energy. So let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini, first half of whew, September. Let's get an overall energy for you for the first half of September. Spirit, please, one card for overall energy for Gemini. What's going on with Gemini Spirit, please? The first half of September, there we go. So we have Malachite, I think, prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Wow, and water, I said, is about flow. So divine support. So this is, you know, however you connect to source, whatever faith or spirituality that you follow, religion, whatever here, how you pray, how you think and um, connect with the higher source, However you do that, just know that they are divinely supporting you, guiding you in every uh, way you can think of, and it may have to do with um, prosperity in some way. Doesn't mean financially, it could just be, can be you know support from others, uh, I don't know. A lot of prosperity coming in, coming in in some way, shape or form, could be just love and compassion from others uh, newfound friendships um, and things like that, relationships in some way that are very caring and nurturing. All right, 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have Lapazuli. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's time of, it, of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So this is like the Ace of Swords to me. So you're, you're having some kind of big, big realization here. Epiphany, life-changing experience in some way, shape, or form here. And it's like a new beginning. So, and it's a big, big change, a new beginning, prosperity. I mean, it could be a new career. It could be anything, something new coming in, a brand new beginning. And it's the sword of success and victory, of truth and clarity. Standing up for what you believe in. Um, not taking any BS. Speaking only your truths. And then we have Jade under that, which is wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. So um, something getting better here for you. Things uh, getting better, whether it's your health, it's your, this is green. So this is the hot chakra. So things are getting better. It could be your love life. It could just be your relationships with family, friends. I feel like very strong um, caring connections at the beginning of the month for you and family and friends for some reason. Again, here we have divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. And we do have the divine support over here. So whatever your goal, whatever you're wishing or hoping for, divine here is stepping in to help you receive your wishes and your dreams, whatever they may be. All right. Let's see all those. All right. So let's clarify with the tarot now. What's going on? For you, Gemini, a lot of positive energy, prosperity, dreams, wishes coming true, wellness. Let me just change this so you can. Big life changing experience. Uh, wow. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Ooh, what's going on for Gemini? First half of September. What is all this positive energy about for you, Gemini? Wow. Just one more shuffle. All right, what's going on with Gemini? What is this energy about for Gemini? First half of September spirit, please. What is the energy like for Gemini? All right, we'll take those two. All right, so we have the Four of Wands. Wow, and the Three of Wands. So. The Four of Wands is about your home life, your basis, your foundation, happy home, very uh, stable home life for you in some way, shape, or form, whether you're single, married, whatever. This is about ceremony, celebrations also. So you could be getting newly married uh, for some of you, or committing, or living together. And maybe there was a period of waiting for the right time, but now this is a very committed married, happy home and family, stable uh, home life. So there was a period of waiting here before you could be in this stable energy in your home life for some reason. And it could be a marriage because you have prosperity. So, you know, you get gifts when you get married here, uh, things going in a better direction because now you're married, you're happily married, uh, going on your honeymoon, life-changing epiphany or experience. Definitely marriage can be a life-changing experience. And divine intervention so you know the divine has your back is supporting you in this new commitment of some kind whether you're committing to um, somebody or a new career or whatever here or committing to just living your life better being more healthy working out um, going in a better direction here uh, there might have been again like I said a period of waiting for some reason but now because you have the three and the four so the waiting is over. Now you can step into this more committed energy of um, this new beginning for you and this life-changing experience. All right, so let's get some clarity on what's going on here in this energy. So we have the Empress and we have the Page of Swords. So the Empress is um, Libra and Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. Over here we have Fire, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, and they're both Fire actually. Empress and then the Page of Swords is your energy. So the Empress is now knowing your value, value your worth, growth, expansion, uh, peace and harmony. You, you embody all the uh, queens, 
queens or kings of the deck, mother, father of the deck, whatever here, or just being now your own boss. Maybe now you're very committed to owning your own business, or it could be anything. It could be a newfound, like I said, commitment, marriage, now owning your own business, um, just now committed to living your life in a more positive way. In some way, it could be your health, your mindset, put more positive mindset here, but now you're very much in that Empress energy. Wow. And now you have the Page of Swords. So this is your energy, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So being very open, honest, and truthful. This is communication. Again, uh, speaking your truths with truth and clarity, clear cut uh, communication. You can use the sword anytime. You're not afraid to cut out things no longer serving you as you move forward in a better direction. And uh, not taking any BS from anybody because you have two swords here, or is that one? That's one, that's the holder. But you have a sword and you know, you're not afraid to cut these uh, things here and let something just dissipate and fly away, no longer serving you. And you could be doing research online, moving forward, whatever you're moving forward in, uh, researching online about uh, how to improve your health, your wellness, your mindset, doing positive affirmations every day. Um, and it can be an energy keeping tabs on somebody also, but I'm not getting that energy like spying on anyone. Um, I don't know. I mean, it can be like online communication also. I don't know. So what, however this resonates for you, um, it's many different things here. I mean, we have purple for manifestation. We have yellow here for your solar plexus, living out your soul purpose, your soul mission in life being true to who you are, manifesting that, having your hot chakra open, and being loving, compassionate, caring, and giving is with the water energy. And then the blue here is for the uh, throat chakra. So again, speaking with truth, clarity, communication. So having it all here as with the Empress energy, having it all here moving forward and whatever it is for you. Wow. So let's get more energy. Let's get more energy around you more energy around Gemini first half of September spirit please thank you so much it's one we have one more one more for Gemini thank you all right more energy around you so wow we have the fool and the ace of cups wow so this is Aquarius energy it doesn't have to be water energy here as with the water here um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So you definitely, some of you could be jumping right in. Leap of faith here, starting over at zero, leaving past baggage behind, no longer serving you. Leaping right in, uh, knowing everything will be fine with a clean slate and just stepping in and having a whole new start and taking that leap of faith. And the Ace of Cups here is a brand new beginning. So this is, and it could be the brand new beginning of a marriage or just your own self-value and worth, loving yourself now, now really loving who you are, what you are, being spiritually, divinely connected here with the Ace of Cups is a divine cup here um, from above, as you had divine support here, divine support here. So again, and you have like the Ace of Swords there, which is a brand new beginning. So in the Ace of Cups, so some of you, this could be a brand new beginning in love, marriage or it could be knowing your self-value and worth with the empress now truly indeed loving yourself caring and nurturing for yourself following your faith your spirituality moving forward and being very very committed to that and being very strong and stable wow so let's get some clarity on that so we have the seven of cups and the seven of wands two sevens wow i just said seven all this divine support sevens are a very divine spiritual number so whatever confusion water energy here and fire energy here whatever confusion conflicts uh daydreamy energy options you had pros and cons of whatever you're going through i feel like here now you know you've been through all that and now you're standing up for yourself seven of wands you're defending yourself standing up for yourself for who you are what you believe in moving forward standing up for yourself and not backing down being very passionate and defiant stable and grounded passionate fiery energy wow gemini 
All right, so let's get your actual, see if we can get like your actual situation. What is the actual situation now for Gemini? Actual situation now for Gemini for the first half of September. One, two, three. All right, let's see. The Wheel of Fortune, nice. The Hierophant, wow. In the Knight of Cups. <laughs> this just basically clarifies everything I just said. Thank you, Spirit. So, Wheel of Fortune is your actual situation. is Sagittarius energy. Hierophant is Taurus. Knight of Cups is that water energy. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, Wheel of Fortune. So, things going in your favor. And that's the big life-changing experience here of the wheel turning in your favor. Going in a more positive direction. Luck, expansion, fame. Not fame, but faith, spirit. Uh, spirituality, divine timing, divine wheel of fate and destiny, um, things going in a better direction here, and things going in your favor. And here's the Hierophant. So here is the commitment, as I had said with the Four of Wands, being totally committed now into this life changing. The wheel is about positive change forward and being totally, totally committed now to this positive, the Hierophant commitment forward and it could be you know a marriage or just a commitment to live your life true to who you are loving yourself for once and just standing your ground and believing in yourself and having that faith and spirituality moving forward and then the knight of cups again is that action movement forward the knight of cups being in that loving compassionate uh energy with yourself to those around you and being totally committed of living yourself living your life in a more positive compassionate loving caring peaceful energy wow wow so i mean if this is a marriage you, it could be a water sign as i just had your love reading and i had heavy water energy also come out in that so um if this now is a committed marriage relationship of some kind with a water sign it is going in the right direction very committed, very loving, caring, nurturing, um, compassionate uh, energy between the two of you. All right, so let's get more here. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So the Seven of Pentacles here, Earth energy, Wands, Fire energy again. Seven of Pentacles here is putting, planting the seeds, watching them grow and harvest, and just waiting for that harvest to bloom. So this is patiently waiting. Seven again. So we have three sevens now. Wow. This is major, majorly, divinely, spiritually guided for you. May have took some time with the Seven of Pentacles energy for all this to happen for you. But you had patience and you waited. Patience with yourself. And now we have the Nine of Wands. So it's been a long, hard struggle for you. Maybe hard battle, but you keep fighting and moving on. No matter what struggles you've been through, you keep fighting, fighting, persevering on. This is the card of perseverance and willpower and uh, endurance. So you do have that power to keep going on. So let's see what, I don't know, let's see what advice there is for you in that one. What else for Gemini? Is there advice for Gemini? Wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So you have the Ace of Cups, and this is like the Ace of Swords to me, and now you have the Ace of Pentacles. So you are having this new beginning that's divinely guided with the Wheel of Fortune of faith, prosperity, growth, and abundance. Planting that seed with patience, planting the seed, and this is the minor arcana of the sun, having success and victory. Everything will bloom and blossom with time. You'll have abundance and prosperity for the long haul, long term, slow, steady growth. And uh, new beginning here, very stable energy. And then we have the page of wands. So this is communication again, fire energy. So being, you know, your advice is, you know, with this fiery energy is to keep um, moving on in that fiery energy. It's about communication. If you have an offer that comes into you in some way, shape or form, if it's a uh, um, career oriented or something like that I think you should take it because it'll give you this newfound new beginning of wealth and abundance 
and prosperity for the future for the long term slow steady growth here and if something comes into you I think you should really consider it and to keep moving on in your fiery passionate energy because you do have this wealth and prosperity for you coming in okay let's see what else clarifying that the magician and the six of cups so six of cups water energy again so this could be somebody coming into you from the past that you've known since childhood maybe you worked with a very long time ago coming in with a new offer here with the page of wands that will give you this new op career opportunity um i'm getting different messages like some of you are now in a very committed married relationship that's very um healthy long term or some of you have this new career business opportunity that will go in your favor in the long term that you should really consider taking and it could be somebody from the past returning with this offer for you or this could be somebody that you're now committed to that you've known since childhood uh, you could have had past lives with this person someone you worked with somebody you live next to went to school with and this is uh, the magician so manifesting Gemini Virgo your energy so manifesting your new beginning here with all the tools you have swords truth and clarity uh, wands fiery passionate energy cups love emotions feelings compassion pentacles for stability and growth and um, prosperity so you can manifest all this going forward and you're divinely guided so let's see what your possible outcome may be let's get one card for the possible outcome put the camera down let's see all the cards all right possible outcome here is the eight of wands so here's that action travel communication fast movement forward very fiery passionate energy so i think your outcome here is you're going to move forward in whatever it is here for you very passionately fast um, you may have to travel for this whatever it is for you may involve traveling but you're going to move forward fearlessly fiery and, pa and very, with a lot of passion moving forward with this wow so let's get more clarity on that so we have the king of swords that's your energy and the king of wands so you may be going into business here for some of you uh, getting some different storylines some of you are now in a more committed uh, relationship with a water sign that um, has a lot of growth abundance has truth clarity love it has it all and it's your soulmate and moving forward with your soulmate some of you are coming into a partnership here king of wands is a very fiery entrepreneurship kind of energy owns our own business um, or it's just like a CEO or a very high-ranking authority in their career somebody who's very fiery passionate go-getter successful and this is you king of swords energy air energy uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius so you know you could be partner partnering up now with somebody in a new business adventure of some kind and manifesting that going forward and moving forward very passionately fiery with this but you will have success abundance growth with this opportunity and I had said maybe a fire sign coming into you with an offer and here is the fire sign it's the spirit confirming that so I think whatever that is for you you should probably grab that <laughs> the ace of pentacles because that is your prosperity for the future and moving forward fearlessly passionately and fast with this offer I think it's going to come in and you're going to accept it quick and you're going to have fast rapid growth movement forward and success wow so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you Gemini so we have the hanged man so cancer Pisces energy so you may think about it a little bit here with this offer coming in you may want to look at all aspects of it make sure you understand everything you know all the facts and see everything from every angle before you accept this offer and I think once you do accept it then you'll move forward very fast or this is telling you if you accept it make sure you know all the facts before you accept it moving forward but I think that it, it, you could trust it with the pentacle energy that it's a very safe secure grounded offer coming forward and then we have the star so this is your wishes and dreams coming true Aquarius energy uh, having faith hope and optimism healing energy and 
having divine this is divinely guided you had all these sevens here whatever you're going through and all these sevens here all this divine energy here and now the star is divinely guided this is a divinely guided path for you if you're going through both at the same time just getting married and newly committed and taking on a new um, career adventure of some kind this is all divinely guided for you moving forward the three of cups so there'll be happiness joy there'll be success there'll be our uh, reuniting there'll be rejoicing celebrating going out for drinks having a good time with friends co-workers family and the Emperor so again Aries energy so again you could be now like co ownership of something here being in this Emperor energy is being in control being the boss uh, being the owner, um, ruling something here, the emperor energy. So you could be going into a business entrepreneurship energy with somebody here. So you see two males here, and now the emperor is somebody who is in charge and control the boss of something here. Wow. Two of cups. And I feel here, for some of you coming together with your soulmate and committing in marriage and moving forward in a very loving committed relationship and some of you seeing eye to eye with a new business partner and being uh, in a very peaceful uh, energy moving forward now we have the knight of pentacles so this is very slow uh, earth energy so very slow moving uh, growth abund abundance taking that slow movement action forward very stable sturdy grounded energy this is you know working putting in the work here very slowly slow growth but it's trust it's trustable dependable and there's your ace of swords wow and the ace of swords in a reading is telling divine telling you this is the truth this is uh the sort of victory this is the truth the clarity clear-cut communication standing up for yourself what you believe in cutting away things no longer serving you having that truth and clarity wow and chariot so cancer energy moving forward victoriously balanced going in the right direction being very very successful having the strength leo energy strength courage determination fiery energy moving forward having that inner willpower to do so yep wow a lot of new beginnings all going in the right direction I don't think that was okay Gemini wow big big things big big things for you here all right all divinely guided all right so let's get some advice and guidance for you Gemini Gemini a lot of different energies here so whatever your story is if you're now newly committed married or you're going into a new business adventure wheel is here to tell you it's all divinely guided for you and it's meant to be for you on your path wow okay gemini gemini all right so let's get some advice and guidance for gemini general reading here have anything else for gemini gemini for the first half of september general advice and guidance for gemini first half of September so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck third eye chakra wow so that is you know um, really listening to your now awakening to your your um, your insight what you're thinking really paying attention to that and listening to your gut and your intuition really being awakened now and listening to divine source you have three and six which is nine which is about you know coming to the end of a cycle for some of you so whatever cycles you're closing out so you can have all these brand new beginnings I really do think purple manifesting that is um, right on your path so let's see oh my god oh my god <laughs> I can't make this up holy crap and I had oh my god this is clarifying every single first card that came out from the crystal angels the throat chakra for truth, clarity, communication, that sword energy. Nine to two, eleven, two, two people coming together in unity, whether it's in the business, seeing eye to eye, or now a more committed relationship. 
third eye is now believing in that, manifesting it going forward and listening to that energy. Now we have the crown chakra, the third eye chakra to the crown chakra is really, really paying attention and listening to your gut, your intuition, being spiritually led, divinely guided, as we had all that energy here and really listening and paying attention to what source is trying to show you, tell you, and lead you in the right direction. Seven again with divine energy here leading you forward. Wow. And now the heart chakras we had over here. Two and two. So double confirmation of two people coming together. And then four is the stability. Two, two, four. Stability, foundation, the basis. Very stable energy. And your heart chakra opening up here, being in that loving as with the water energy, loving, compassionate, caring, giving energy moving forward. Wow, Gemini. Look at that. <laughs> blue, blue, green, green. We got like, the purple. We didn't get the gold, but um, wow. So, wow. Major, major things for you here, Gemini. All divinely guided. Whatever you're going through is meant to be on your path. And it's divinely guided for you and you are going in the right direction Gemini Wow okay and just go with it go with the flow it's meant for you it's divinely guided and it's all flowing to you now Gemini if this didn't resonate for you you could check the playlist below in the description box past readings may resonate for you there I would say disregard the dates I do consider them all timeless if they did if this did resonate for you please do like share subscribe comment I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that for all the signs. And I do ask, though, if you don't like to get all the notifications of all the other signs readings that you don't unsubscribe, you can as easily go to your little bell there and unclick it. You will no longer receive notifications, but if you go into your subscriptions section, you will see all the latest videos from who you are subscribed to and you can find my videos there you'll have to scroll through to find them and you can find what you want to watch and watch them from there so i please ask that you do that if you don't want to uh hit the bell and uh good luck to you in your situation here wow good luck <laughs> i don't even think you need a lot because you have the wheel of fortune there but wow major things for you gemini so i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.